What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hype Train Let's Play. That's right, guys, the Hype Train dropped you off yesterday, and it's ready to whisk you away to wonderful, wonderful 7 Days to Dieville. All right, let's get this show started. What did we do yesterday? Well, yesterday we started on the Tower 1, and we did the walkway. I adjusted the walkway a little bit, and I'm going to show you that. Um, actually, I'm going to show you the walkway when we get back. we got to actually get going here, because I want to take my awesome auger, and I want to go get some sand, because that would be some kind of special. All right, uh, let's take that. Let's take a couple of these. I can get gas on the way. Let's get going. I'm going to mark where the sand is. i got to get going. I can't do my full intro just yet, but I'll do my full intro while, while I am on my way. All right, so today we're going to get sand. Um, we are going to prepare Tower 1 for Horde Knight, and we are also going to hit some traders. Um, I do have some stuff to sell to the traders. I don't have everything I want to sell to the traders, but I have most of it. Honestly, I'm kind of running out of time here. I want to get to the traders, obviously, before nighttime. And I could get sand during the night, but I tend not to because I don't like being out during the night because of the roaming hordes. They're kind of just annoying. Um, you know, if, again, I'm going to reiterate something I've said in the past... If my deaths did not count against my game stage, I'd be perfectly happy mining during the night. I just, I don't care about dying, you know? Not that I don't care. I don't want to die, obviously. But it's not such a big deal. I want to make interesting videos, and I would be out during the night if it didn't ruin my game stage. But that's neither here nor there. That is the way it is right now, and hopefully they'll change it. So, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. And if you are new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So, I've been doing some thinking about how to make money at the trader. Now that, now that... I realize how great the the secret stash perk is, and I love it to death. Um, my next thing I want to do is figure out how to make some money. I, I didn't realize this trader was actually going to be on the way. So let's hit this trader while we're on our way out there um, to get some sand. We should probably hit the traders first. I'm probably only going to hit these two traders, and then that's probably going to be it. Because um, we are running out of time. Alright, so... Let's take a look at what this guy has. Now, he restocks on day 35, right? No, day 37. All right, all right, that's fine. Okay, so um, why don't you buy my stuff? I don't have anything on me because it's all in my bike. All right, well, let's go get it out of my bike. All right, I've got everything on me now that I want to sell. Okay, so let us let me show you what I'm going to be selling, and I'll talk about why um, after, I, after I've done it. All right, AK schematic, obviously I don't need that. Um, we're going to sell some shovels. He would probably only take three. That is right. Um, will you take another AK schematic? You will. Um, the hazmat suit takes military fiber to repair it. I don't have any. So, you know what? For twelve fifty one, I'm okay selling this. Um, we sell the shoes. And I... What did I just sell? Crap. I didn't look at what I just sold. Okay. Done, I just went back and checked the video and I sold store. my I sold my pickaxe. Oopsie daisy. That's okay. We're not going to need it right now. We can always make another one when we get back there. Actually, what we should be doing is we shouldn't be making so many shovels. We should be making three pickaxes, three shovels, three three axes, and then re redo it after that. Because the guys only buy three of everything. And I was like, well, I'll just sell three to one trader, three to another trader, three to another trader. And that's great. But we should be really making three of each item um, so it's easier to sell to the traders. Okay, so how much are you going to pay? Are you going to pay for that much? Why don't we sell these 100 at a time? What is my barter skill at, anyway? I don't know. I'll check it in a minute. we got to be careful. I don't want to sell stuff by mistake. Alright. Alright, there we go. Good to go. 100. I don't think I brought my dukes with me that I had at home, either, but that's okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell those. Alright, so that's it. Do we want to sell anything else? I don't see anything else that is here to sell. So let's see what this guy's got. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, you know what? Let's just go to the secret stash. All right. So he's got better auger parts. He's got a nail gun. He's got an auger blade. This is ridiculous. Um, I definitely want better, better auger pieces, but I have a pretty good auger right now. I think we should start looking towards um, possibly better uh, weapons. So let's see what else he's got here. Um, submachine gun, night vision, uh, pistol, sniper rifle. That's a good sniper rifle. Um, I cannot afford it yet. All right, he's got a bunch of ammo. And that is it. All right, let's hit the next sale trader. Is a sale, even if it's to a scumbag like you. Man, you got a real attitude problem, bro. Even for the apocalypse, you have a bad attitude. Oh, my goodness. You're not, you're not going to get too far in life with that attitude, my friend. I'm just saying. All right, let's get to the other trader. And then we'll hit the sand. And then um, we'll probably head home after that, maybe. Um, there's another trader. Yeah, there's another trader I wouldn't mind going to. Um, possibly. I think we should just get sand after this. By the way, this is where I was getting sand last time. That's why there's a big hole there. 
All right, and this is a problem because zombies will kill you on your bike and you can't even fight back because you're on a bike. And I couldn't get out of there easily, so we gotta clear out the zombies so I can get out of this hole. It's pretty ironic that I dug the hole, right? Oh, man, really? Really with this? There you go. I'm not gonna loot them because I'm kind of in a hurry. Yeah, that would be ironic if I died in, in the very hole that I dug. Man, I, I would have dug my own grave. Oh, that's that's deep. That's deep, guys. I almost dug my own grave like a week ago. Oh, man. Oh, man. Just think about that. Think about that. Think about it. All right. I think you thought about it enough. All right. Let's sell this thing. And then I'm going to go get some sand. I'll get sand for a little while on video because I want you to see how awesome it is with the auger. But I'm not going to... um. I'm not going to like just sit there with the auger all night on sand. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do another video after this. I don't think I am. I think I might spend day 35 off camera just kind of grinding. Or I might do another video. I'm not really sure. It depends. We'll see. We shall see. We'll see how far into uh, day 35 we get um, before I have to call the video. All right. So what do you got, buddy? All right. You got to buy my stuff. There you go. All right. And we've got 14,000 dukes. What do you got in your secret stash? Um, ooh, a chainsaw. Mmm. Ooh, and I could replace the engine. Ah, the chainsaw blade. That's not a good one. This one. Oh, those are bad chainsaw blades. Do you think it's worth spending this money on a chainsaw with that bad of a blade? I probably don't think so. Alright, let's see what else he's got. Um, snipe rifle. I don't remember who had the AK last time. And this is day 34, so these guys just got restocked. So, I, at least I think that's the case. Um, sniper rifle, what do we got, what do we got, we got some thing right there, got a bunch of armor, heavy, he's got a full thing of heavy bandit stuff, should we get that, I mean, I don't see anything else he has that I really care about, to be perfectly honest, um, yeah, I'm not even gonna look in his regular stuff anymore, <laughs> I'm too good for that, <laughs> oh man, oh boy, okay, let's just get the armor, why not, what do you need to repair it? Forged iron? Oh, definitely. Okay. Okay. Alright, so... Um, yeah, let's just get the whole thing. Okay, guys. It's been a real place. We are styling and profiling. Alright, right now we are 25 and 24 in our defensive stats. 25 and 24. Just remember that. Why aren't you clicking? Oh, shift. That's why. Not double click. That's the other game I play. What did I say? 25 and 24? Now I'm 45 and 41. Almost double on both of the stats. Wow. Oh, I already had he I already had bandit boots. Heavy bandit boots. Heavy bandit boots. Oh, interesting. Wait, did I buy two sets of bandit boots? I think I did. I wasn't paying attention. I'll bet you I bought two, two sets of bandit boots. Take your time. Uh, I'll keep the other one for repairs. Why not? I was going to sell them back, but I'll keep them for repairs. Might as well sell this All stuff, though. prices are fair here. Your prices aren't fair, my friend. I'm gonna have to look back. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, I definitely bought two sets of bandit boots. I was not, not paying attention properly. Um, I want that nail gun. Do I want it that badly? I think I probably do. Um, but do I want it more than some of this stuff? I don't really know what I need for the guns, so I'm gonna go with the with the nail gun, right? Or the chainsaw. I can't afford the chainsaw. I'm gonna go with the nail gun. Actually, I'm gonna save my money. I might find something better. All right, let's go get let's go get some sand, people. Okay, guys, are you ready? This is gonna be awesome. Check it out. Now I don't have any uh, I don't have any gas on me, so let's go ahead and grab these two gas barrels and let's turn these into gas. We're gonna have to get a uh, a mine going, a shell mine going for sure. Um, I just gotta pick a spot. I'll do that later though. I'm not gonna worry about that today or even tomorrow. We'll do that after the day 35 horde. All right, you're dead. Take that, scrap those. Okay, here we go. Now what you want to do is when you're using the uh, when you're using the auger like this, you want to tap the button. Just tap, just tap it in. Give it a little little taparoo, you know? Don't don't hold the button down. It just it's easier on the gas and you get you get the same amount of items. Okay, we're also getting stone here because we're digging into the um, basically the top the top layer is uh, is total sand. The bottom, the, the next level is like some kind of sandstone thing or something. You get stone and sand. And as you go deeper, it gets even harder, I think. Yeah. I don't mind getting this stone, too. Doesn't bother me. 
Alright, let's use up the rest of this gas. And see what we got. Alright, so, one, uh, what was that, 140 things of gas? Got me about 5,000, got me about 5,000 sand. Oh boy. I'm gonna actually get some more while I'm out here, guys. Alright, well you can see what this thing can do. I'm gonna get the rest off camera, guys. I'll see you back at base. Okay, guys, we're back. I figured I would just work through it the night, um, because I wasn't doing anything too interesting. Um, let me show you what I've been up to, though. Um, been working on the second floor here. And um, this is what I've come up with so far for the walkway. Um, the stairway coming up kind of messed this up a little bit. But um, I don't know. I kind of did what I could with it. Um, we also have some glass here. So let's go ahead and put some bulletproof glass in. There we go. And that's the way we're going to use the bulletproof glass. Let's see what that looks like on the outside. Should look pretty, I don't know, bulletproof. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks badass. Guys, thank you so much for the bulletproof glass idea. That was a freaking stroke of genius, man. A stroke of genius. Because, you know, the iron bars are pretty cool, but damn, that is... Mm, 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 mm. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. So, we're working on the... Uh, this is going to be the bedroom slash um, whatever. I don't know. I'll probably make one part of it like a living room, living space. Um, and then I'll make the other part like um, a bedroom. Maybe I'll put some cooking stuff up there. Although I, I don't really need to cook up there at all. But, you know, whatevs. Oh, by the way, uh, you guys gave me another really good idea on what to sell. Um, check it out. Check, 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 check it out as soon as I find it. Here it is. It should be in this box. Reinforced drawbridge. 5,700 dukes. Alright, let's look what the drawbridge takes. Alright. Drawbridge. Um, 100 forged iron. Okay. Um, wood, a thousand wood. Okay, the springs and the mechanical parts are the real, the real, um, the real tough ones for that. Let's see how much. How much is a hundred forged iron in iron? I'm actually kind of curious here. Um, I probably don't have enough there. Um, yeah, I'm really running low on iron. Uh, forged iron. Yeah, we can't even make a hundred. Um, okay, so it's a thousand. It's a thousand. So a thousand uh, iron, five hundred clay. I don't know. It's pretty. It's a pretty good deal. So people were telling me to make machete blades. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, machete blades are not really the way to go. All right, because uh, machete blades sell for around 450. All right, so I'd have to make like um, two of them to get 800, and that's 400 iron. But check it out. 20 um, 20 steel, not set steel. 20 steel is 400. So and and if I use 20 steel to make a pickaxe. I sell the pickaxe for 1100 So, the, the steel takes more clay, and it takes a little bit of wood, um, but it sells for it sells for a bit more than the um, than the machete blades. Like I said, two machete blades sells for around 800 and it takes 400 iron. Um, 20 steel takes 400 iron and sells for 1100 Again, a little bit more clay and a little bit more wood, but I still think it's worth it. I think these are still um, the better choice. You know, see, 1100 and we have our pickaxe, so that's going to be for me. And right here is the machete blades, just so you guys can see. Two machete blades. Ooh, 904. Okay. That's a little bit closer, but it's, it takes the same amount of iron. It's just, what do you what do you think is harder to get, iron or clay? Um, I think clay is probably hard, uh, easier to get. Um, yeah, machete blades aren't bad, but I still like the tools better. I've never looked. How much wood does it take to actually make one of those tools? I've never actually looked. Let's take a look. 10 wood. The wood is nothing, guys. 10 wood is nothing. Don't even put that into your equation. Basically, you can use more steel to make the machete blades and less clay, or you can use more clay and less steel to make the tools. It's up to you. Um, I kind of I'm partial to the tools, but machete blades is not a terrible, um, a terrible way to go. All right, guys, let's get outside. Um, we do not have a shovel. I started digging up. Uh, I started digging up around the around the tower with the uh, auger and I thought it was a little bit of a waste. I think a shovel will be just fine um, because I could definitely one-shot everything. So if you can one-shot stuff with a shovel, there's no reason to use the auger. Oh, really quickly. Let me go over the walkway with you. Um, I was not happy with the way this walkway came out last time I played. So what I did was, um, forget about this side, okay? Just pretend this side doesn't exist. This is the way I'm gonna, this is the way I'm gonna build it. So this is going to be two sets out, two sets out with railings. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a ramp block right here. It's going to come into here, and then it's going to come over here to this. I think that looks a lot better. Now, I basically have to break out this stone right here, which is going to take a while. I'll do it off camera. And then um, once I've done that, i got to break this out and put a, um, put a ramp on top of 
this. That iron uh, bar is right there. And that's the way I'm gonna. That's the way I'm gonna do it. I think that looks um, pretty good. I think it looks good from the bottom too. Let's go take a look from the bottom. I think it's gonna look a lot better from the bottom. I was really not happy with that last video. I don't know if you guys could tell, <laughs> but yeah, I was not, not thrilled. So let's take a look at it from the bottom. Yeah, it looks much better from the bottom. And I'm probably gonna break that one out right there and put this corner block in there as well. As a matter of fact, let's just do this. Um, yeah, and you see that's right on top. I think this looks really good actually. I like the way that I like the way that ramp block is on top of the iron bars. I think that looks really, really slick. I'm really happy with the way this came out. All right, so let's start digging out around this. I was gonna put one layer of spikes around this. I think I'm still gonna I'm gonna stick to one layer of spikes. I don't really. This thing doesn't need to be like a ridiculous, you know, layer. This is gonna be a backup in case my my regular base can't can't you know handle it. Um, I'm gonna put something right there. Uh, do we have any ramps for this? We should. There we go. I did not turn off my my forges, so we might have to deal with some screamers. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right. So, or should that? No, that should be a whole block. No, that should be a whole block. Like so. Right? I think so. Pretty sure. Let's grab these. Let's come on over here and copy rotation. There we go. So this will come around like this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Yeah. Yeah, I think I want that to be a full block underneath there. Yes, absolutely. Alright, so let's put a full block underneath there. Okay. Yeah. Eventually I'll probably dig I'll probably dig underneath and put like blocks right here as well. As a matter of fact, I should probably do that now, but I'm not going to because I don't know. I don't feel like it. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's come in dig this out. Let's get some spikes down. This is gonna be tower one. How do you think I should name the towers? Should I just name them towers one, two, three, and four? I mean come on, pick the rock up, bro. I mean the towers aren't anything special. They don't I don't know if they need their own names, but Maybe I should call them Alpha Tower. Wait, okay, yeah, Alpha, Beta, Zeta, whatever the, you know, uh, whatever the, um, damn it, we just had this conversation in, uh, what was I, what game was I playing where we went over this? Oh, God, this is actually a long time ago. We went over the Greek alphabet. I believe that is the Greek alphabet, correct? Yeah. We went over the Greek alphabet, um, in, when I was, when I was Let's Playing No Man's Sky. So what I need from you guys, um, you scholars, is I need you to tell me what order it goes in. And I'm going to name the towers um, in that order. Alpha, Beta, Zeta, Charlie, whatever the order is. Um, let me know. And I will name the towers uh, accordingly. That's a really, yeah, that's a good idea. I think that'll be cool. Alright, so let's put these in like so. Okay. I watched an Ono Koho play. Um, in his Let's Play world, and um, some guy was trying to get him to put his spikes upside down. So I went in there and I like I left a little comment. I was like, "Yeah, listen to this guy. He knows what he's talking about." Because <laughs> the spikes upside down is just—it's the way to go, man. There's no, there's no two ways about it. This is definitely the way to go. I'm not gonna worry about doing anything underneath these spikes. I'm not really. This is like a very whatever tower. This doesn't need to be like some crazy awesome tower. Um, yeah. Okay, you are finished, my friend. Okay, we should have dug out. Maybe I go. Maybe I go in the middle and dig out. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go in the middle and dig out around this, around the middle, and get some really good foundations down there. I think that would be a really good way to go. And uh, we're pretty much ready for horde right now, to be honest. Um, is there anything I want to do over here? I probably should repair repair this stuff. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get some more steel going. We'll stop, uh, we'll stop making tools now. And we'll get, we'll get some more steel. Oh, man, I really need iron. Why don't we go hit some boulders? Wanna go hit some boulders for the rest of the video? I think that'll work. Let's repair this thing first. Um, we're not gonna have any room for boulders. All right, yeah, let's go hit some boulders. I need the iron, I need the boulders. And honestly, I think we're pretty much done. What I'm gonna do after the, after the video's over is I'm gonna go into the middle of this, right? I'm going to go down there and I'm going to dig out the ground and I'm just going to fill it in from the inside and make the part that the spikes are in. Um, I'm going to put 
you know, uh, a nice set of uh, reinforced concrete down there as well to kind of solidify that. But I think you guys would be more interested in seeing what this uh, auger can do to the boulders. Another thing you guys told me is I can upgrade my auger blade. Um, you know, maybe we should do that right now. Let me do this really quickly. Hopefully this won't take too long. Something about upgrading the auger blade. Um, you said I can upgrade the auger blade to my toolsmithing skill. Um, but my auger blade's already blue, so would that really work? Would that matter? Would that be that be useful? That'd be useless, right? Um, about the auger parts, yeah. Okay, so yeah, basically you upgrade the auger blade to your toolsmithing skill. My toolsmithing skill is four hundred, so upgrading this is kind of pointless. But now I don't know if I'm understanding you guys correctly. But if I am understanding you guys correctly, if you get a really crap or, crappy auger blade, like let's see if let's say you get a yellow auger blade. And, well, we could probably upgrade it now, can't we? Why don't we just upgrade the yellow one even even though we don't need to? Just to see how this works. It's pretty cheap, so... Yeah, why not? Let's see how this works. What I'm assuming is it's going to take this yellow auger blade and it's going to turn it blue because that's what my skill level's at uh, for toolsmithing. Right? I don't know. We'll see. All right, so it's got to be in here. So we got to cancel these. Oh, I can't cancel that. Oh, damn it. I kind of want to. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to. All right, let's make some room here. Come on. Nope, it's over here. This is the one where all our building materials go. Alright, it should be enough room. Okay. So, auger blade. Craft. Right? Which one is it going to use? It might use the one I don't want it to use. Auger blade. Okay. Let's see how this comes out. This should be uh, pretty interesting. That's really nice. So if you get, a, from what I'm understanding, if you get a really crappy auger blade, you could just go ahead and um, use your toolsmithing skill to bring it up to par, you know? So this should come out blue, right? Maybe. Who knows? Anything could happen. Okay. Green. Okay. So it must be, my toolsmithing is definitely making blue items. So maybe it gives, it gave me 150 levels. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm at 450. No, 450 be the next tier. All right, I'm not sure why they came out of 350, but whatever. It's still way better than it was at yellow. All right, well, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's take our blue auger blade that is not doing very well. And let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Now we're up to 450. Okay, really nice. Okay, let's reset up the drawbridge. There we go. And let's put the auger back together again. There's a dog out there, by the way. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, oh god! I thought I scrapped it. I wasn't paying. I wasn't paying attention to the to the button I hit. And then all of a sudden, I didn't have the auger up there to put together. I thought I had scrap. Oh man! Assemble chainsaw. I don't have chainsaw. It's auger parts, man. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. This will be easier. Assemble. Okay. God, that gave me a heart attack. I don't think I have a better engine than that either. Do I have a better than green engine? No, I don't. I already looked at that, actually. Assemble. Okay. Now, according to you guys, I shouldn't lose any durability on this, right? That's what she said. Let's see how this goes. Should still be a 402. Okay, cool. I think that's bugged, by the way. You can repair. You can repair your tools. Uh, these mechanical tools, and you can re you can repair um, your uh, mini bike without losing durability. And I'm pretty sure that's bug. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating what I believe is a fact. All right. All right. Let's get out of here and hit some boulders, guys. I want to see you when I hit the boulders. I want to hit the boulders with you. I'm gonna take the rest of the day and just shore up my defenses. Maybe I'll do some more farming. Not really sure what I'm gonna do, to be honest. Um, but with you guys with me, I want to go hit some boulders. Because when I when I was uh, mining stuff underground, you guys were like, oh, isn't that cute? Cage thinks he's getting a lot of stone mining underground. Oh, he's adorable. Wait until you hit boulders, bro. So I was like, oh my god. I started getting excited. I was like, oh, I'm going to go hit some boulders. But um, I wanted to do it on camera with you guys. So let's see how this goes. And by the way, forget about needing uh, any uh, drinks for stamina. Oops, there we go. All right. Speaking of drinks. Okay. 
What do I got? What do I got? I got no stone on me. Okay, no stone and no iron. <laughs> I interrupted it while it was loading it, so it didn't finish. How can you not hear this, lady? Down you go. By the way, I've officially gotten used to the uh, to the machete, and I don't I don't hate it. All right, so what did we get? Okay, a few boulders there. We got a thousand stone, three hundred iron. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And another good thing about the auger is get some clay while we're out here. Again, if you're getting clay, do the same thing you do with sand. Just tap the button. Just tap. Give it a little old tap of room. I know you guys know what movie that's from, so I'm not even going to bring it up. Alright, that's cool. I'll get more, uh, I'll get more, look at that, 3,400 already. I'll get more, uh, clay off camera, though. I want to, I want to hit some more boulders with you guys. We hit boulders together, man, that's, um, that's what, uh, Seven Days to Die friends do. They go out and they, they, they smash up some boulders together. Boulder fields, what up? Okay, Jay Crook, um, this is why I don't think it's uh, necessarily a great idea to just throw all your points into stamina perks. Now, I'm not saying you're wrong to. I'm just saying if you, if you can maybe get an auger, you can save some points on a uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus. I think I only... I think mine's, what, to six? I mean, sorry, not six. Mine's up to, what, uh, three? Did I go up to four on sex? No, still three, and I don't need to put it up anymore. So I saved some points there, which is nice. Because I threw a lot of points away on on a uh, sec uh, secret stash. Although, um, I don't, I didn't really throw away. I mean, that was, those are points well spent. Okay, we got some dirt. I don't need any freaking dirt. That's okay. We'll hold on to it. How much stone we got? 2,600? Okay. See, the thing about mining underground is you don't have to go from boulder to boulder. That's why mining underground is good. The thing that's about the thing that's better about boulders is you can also grab some clay while you're here, or better yet, you're also getting um, potassium nitrate and coal, which is going to be awesome because I also put my I also put another point into my ranged traps, so I will be making some kind of uh, SMG turret pretty soon. Not not in time for horde night, but pretty soon. I need to really go out and uh, get some. I need to farm up. I'm getting so many levels now. My game stage is going to go crazy. Uh, do I want to put any more points in anything else? Nah, I'm not going to worry about that right now. If you guys are interested in my points, go ahead and pause the video at any point. Pause. 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 <laughs> okay, there you go. Alrighty. Okay, guys. Well, you know what? I think uh, we I think we've uh, seen what the auger can do. You guys are probably get a little bored at this point. I'm gonna call this one here. Okay. Um, next video is gonna be horde night. I'm just gonna farm throughout the night. The hell with it. Um, I'll shore up that defense a little bit, that tower, and um, you know, I'll just kind of do what I gotta do for horde night. I think I'm gonna record horde night right after this. Though I'll just stay on and just go through because um, I'm expecting it to be pretty interesting horde night. Um, I'm gonna go with shotguns on Horde Knight. I'm not gonna do anything else. I don't really think I have any other guns anyway Saved up or anything. I'd really want to get a chainsaw. I, I need to make some serious money at the traders um, I'm probably gonna start hitting the traders a lot more often And I think what I'll do is I'll just run out there and I'll I'll you know um, Start recording do my trading pause go to the next trader rinse and repeat There's just so much to do, you know, there's so much stuff in this game and so much I need to do. It's awesome. I'm really excited. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time for Horde Night. And until then... Should I show you my game stage now? I'm going to do my game stage on Horde Night. But I'm going to show you it now too as well. Game stage. We are on 4.30. Okay. That's... um. I don't know, man. Once you start getting up to 500, I hear you start getting some some serious stuff. So we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, guys. Again, thank you very much. I will see you next time. Till then, take it easy.